Hi guys, we're back with another video. Tonight we tried to prepare things ahead of time to make them a little bit quicker so you don't have to listen to as much of a nonsense. So, what we're gonna make today is a like a tomato, mushroom, and basil um, type of Alfredo, alkaline style, with Dr. Sabi approved ingredients. And what you're gonna need is your favorite approved pasta. Uh, we're using Kamut spirals tonight, which we've already cooked, which are right over here. And one eight ounce package of baby Bella mushrooms. Uh, yeah, a little oil it, get your pan going, oil it. Yep. You're also going to need two small onions chopped, yep. so those can go in. And set aside six small plum, plum tomatoes. tomatoes chopped. Or you can use cherry tomatoes. I like to use a package of those sometimes. It depends on what I have. And I also like to garnish it when it's done with sliced tomato. And you want your heat on medium high. Yep. And you're going to need the ingredients basil, onion powder, sea salt, cayenne, and sage. And the oil we, we're using tonight is grapeseed oil. And the other ingredients you'll need is one key lime, de-seeded, a half a cup of Brazil nuts, and a half a cup of walnuts. I'm pretty sure that's it. All right, get your, first you want to start off by getting your onions and your mushrooms cooked down. Yeah. Till the, till the onions look uh, trans, translucent. Or you cook them how you like them. If you like yeah. them cooked down further, you like them with more of a bite to them, then you do them the way you want. But right now, we're going to cook them down a little bit. While he's letting the onions cook down, I'm going to make the cheese sauce, the creamy basil cheese sauce. All right. In here, you're going to need half a cup of soaked Brazil nuts. You just soak them for an hour to six hours. Half a cup of soaked walnuts. Same for those. Soak them an hour to six hours. In this mixture, you're going to want to add one teaspoon of sea salt. One teaspoon of basil. One teaspoon of onion powder. And a half a teaspoon of sage. It was kind of heaping, so. Good now. Right, there we go. And then you know how I do about the cayenne. It, it's up to you. Good I'm putting it. in a, a heaping fourth a teaspoon, and I'll probably end up putting more in the veggies. Yeah, we like our spices. Yeah. You can either add it or not. That's really just for spice. That's all I'm using it for. Next, you'll need. You can add your key lime juice. Yeah, and we're losing our. Come on here, guys. All right. Oh, it's slipping. All right. Go. We'll add the keem lime juice, and then we'll remove the we'll move the camera back the way it was, so you guys can see what he's doing too. One whole key lime. All right. All right. So we've. We've got this down now. We're going to add spring water and then we're going to blend it. See, this is what I mean by being translucent. If the camera will even pick that up, it, it might does. be too bright. Well, well, you can like basically see through the onion. Yeah, because I noticed there's a lot of people that are not sure some cooking terms. So we'll try to 
So some people do it to let you know. To get, uh, a little bit, the onions start to get a little bit charred. The amount of water added is just to the top of the nuts. Now I'm going to add that first, and then I'm going to blend it. Then we're going to add more water. Okay, I'm done stirring. I'm going to let that cook down. All right. You can use a high-powered blender if you want. As a matter of fact, if you do, it might even be smoother and creamier. We're just going to blend this. to add more spring water because you see how it is we want it liquidy so now we're going to fill it up not all the way to the top only to the fill line fill line is about right there I can't see it but I know where it's at blend it again I love this little ninja blender. We've had it forever. You can tell even the cup looks old. Now it should be like a, it should almost look like a, um, a milkshake that melted. Nice and runny. Can you see that? All right. We'll put the lid on that and set it to the side. Move this over. All right. And I've learned how to cut some things out. So all that monkeying around with the um, camera. I might be able to cut that out. Okay, now that these look pretty much done, we're going to add the tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes. And the seasoning. We're going to add to this. A teaspoon of sea salt. Okay. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of onion powder. Oh, wrong one. more basil, a teaspoon of basil, Oops, oh, That's it's about to go down. and as much cayenne as you want. If you don't want any, don't add any. I'm going to add some cayenne in there. That was probably about a fourth of a teaspoon. Sage. Okay. I'm going to add a fourth teaspoon of sage. There we go. I'm going to let that cook down a little bit. There we go. Let that simmer. Mm -hmm. About how long? It's about five, ten minutes. Um, and, and then we want tell the tomatoes tender up real nice. So I'll say about five minutes, five to ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll stay on camera for it. There we go. <clears throat> and I also put aside a small amount of pasta water. I always like to add that. Just in case your uh, pasta gets uh, a little bit too sticky or tough. Plus, it smells. It, I not smells. It. Uh, in my opinion, it makes everything stick to the pasta yeah, better. And plus, this water will, re will rejuvenate your pasta. Yes, exactly. And also, for this video and all my other videos, there'll, there'll be links in the description box below for um, places to find these ingredients that I mentioned, in case you can't find them. 
and uh, I left links to Amazon or Vitacost where you can find these things. We'll just keep letting it cook down. It's a really simple meal. It doesn't take hours to cook. It takes no time at all. And everybody in the house loves this one. And your kids will thank you for it. Oh yes, my little one loves it every time we make this. This is going to be done pretty soon here, so I'm going to chop up the tomato for the garnish. I love the fresh tomato on top. You can also use fresh basil if you want in here. It probably tastes even better. Yeah, but not many of us is like Emerald Lagasse where we can just pick off fresh basil anytime you feel. Well, I could buy it. I just prefer the dry because it's cheaper sometimes. Not always. It's not even that. You know what it is? It's not the price because not. it's usually cheaper the other way, you know, fresh, but it's... I I don't use it in time. You see all this juice? That is a cooker's dream. Because that means everything is blended together well yes, and everything and is gonna, coming together. That's going to flavor real good. And this is a cast iron skillet, so it don't really matter how much you scrape the bottom of the pan. Ain't nothing going to come off. These are tomatoes for the garnish. You don't have to do that. That's optional. I broke a nail. Remember to boil your pasta in spring water if you're following Dr. Savy. Yep. You make your sauce with spring water. No tap water whatsoever. Yep. Tap water is poison. Oh yeah, this looks perfect. Alright, now that this is perfect, we're going to add the cream sauce. Well, as soon as the chef gets over here and stirs his pot, Okay. All right, dump in your cream sauce slowly. And lightly stir it in. Yep, and let it cook for a little bit so it can thicken up. I could, I could do that. All right. While my second in command is washing this uh, dish, I'm going to answer the phone. Stir it. It sounds like a telemarketer. Just let it cook and thicken. It won't take too long to thicken up. If you have any trouble with it thickening, just go ahead and add a little bit of a, um, either spelt flour or garbanzo bean flour. Just add a, a teaspoon at a time and stir it in until it comes to your desired thickness. But give it a chance first. You might not need to add it at all. Telemarketeer. I think it's time to taste it. Mmm. That tastes good. Taste that sauce. Careful, careful, it's hot. Mmm. Mmm, good. It's really good. Keep letting it cook, guys. And this, you know, technically, you could put it right on your pasta like this. This is the same consistency it came out, but, you know. You want to thicken it up to be like an Alfredo sauce. Yes, type. exactly. Sometimes if it doesn't work for you, you no matter how hard you try, try adding some hemp seeds with, with the Brazil nuts and stuff, maybe about a tablespoon. Yeah. This is going to take a little bit, but not, not that long. It's just not something that's instant. And we're not going to add this until after I add the pasta. So if anybody's interested in um, any other recipes that maybe I could try to create, let me know. If it's not too complicated, I could probably do it. 
This is something I, I created on my own. Cooking from the Dr. Sabi menu isn't too hard. You just, you kind of got to, you know, think of some of your favorite meals and how you can change them. Um, and not change them, and how you can omit certain things and then add things from the Dr. Sabi menu. And make the recipe, make your favorite things and make the recipe your own and something new, but still kind of one of your favorite dishes. For example, like Alfredo. You know, this can replace an Alfredo dish. If you don't like mushrooms, onions, and tomatoes in it, you can do what you want in it. You can just make this sauce and put it on the pasta with yes. um, vegetables that you like or just this sauce in the pasta. It's really up to you. This sauce alone on the pasta would taste really good. You don't have to add any of this stuff. It's getting in there a little bit. See that? Up. Just a little bit. But don't walk away from it because you don't want it to burn. That would taste gross. And we all know how expensive Brazil nuts and walnuts are. The last thing you want to do is waste that. Yes. One thing I want to learn to make is spelt bread. I tried it a couple of times, but I failed. But I was doing a couple of things wrong. So I want to give that a go. And if I get it right, I'll share a recipe. Because what I want to do is one that has more garbanzo bean flour in it than spelt. All right, I, I really like the texture of this right now. Okay. So now you're going to add in the pasta. No, I'll just dump it in. The pasta feels nice. Good. And now you're going to add in the pasta. Yeah, and turn down the heat. Hang on. We're going to, here, put a little stabs in there. Turn down the heat just a little bit. All right, I'm going to dump this over it. There we go. And you want to fold it, people, not stir it. Stir it, you're going, to, you're going to end up doing something. Well, if you're using a pan like this, you might end up throwing it on the floor if you stir it too hard. If you like it really creamy, you know, you go ahead and add, you can make more of a cream sauce. You know, more, I mean, more of it. Yes. Just be careful, careful with the Brazil nuts. Because too many Brazil nuts, you get too much, um, psyllium. I can't really pronounce it, but you can look it up. Just look up, um, Brazil nut poisoning. They're not bad for you. But you just don't want to eat too many. Yeah, like you eating a package of Oreos. You don't want to do that. <laughs> um, so if you want to make a, more of a cream sauce, you can just go with the walnuts to stretch it out more. But you got to remember, if it says you should only eat so many Brazil nuts, you got to remember you also added walnuts to this dish and you added spring water. So you stretched out those Brazil nuts. Yep. All right, I'm going to turn off the heat now while he continues to stir and get that mixed in. That Kamut pasta has a lot of pasta in it, so. All right. Oh. Sometimes you'll find it might be creamier than other times, but here we go. This looks perfect. Let's make Junior's plate first. Okay. Let's scoop on the goodness. He's not going to want a fresh tomato garnish, so. But he doesn't mind cooked tomatoes. No, not at all. He's eating all kinds of veggies I never thought he'd eat before. Yeah, and he, now he's eating them. He eats zucchini and mushrooms and onions and peppers. And he loves wraps with just onions, mushrooms, and peppers with a little bit of sea salt and okay, onion powder and cayenne. Okay. You could do some more over here. He'll eat it. Okay. Yep. Want some more scoops. All right. Hold on one second. All right. Well, while she's doing, while she's doing that, I'm gonna make the other plates. There we go. Put that in there. You want a better spoon? Mm, this one's working good. I can actually scrape yep, the bottom. Right there. Babe, how much you want? 
just like Junior's. Okay. Did you like home? Yes, I did. Dinner. I like that. Yeah, a little bit more over here. Okay. Like what's for dinner? See what's for dinner? What's for dinner? Yeah. You love this? Pretty good. I can't hear you. Wait, I like mine with tomatoes on top. Okay. Some fresh tomatoes. Um, but you want to give me a container? Put the rest of this in there. Sure. Right, let me show this. Excuse me. Okay. So fresh tomatoes, and I also like to put a little bit of extra basil. This would be the time where I'd actually like fresh basil and put it on top. All right. Yes, I'm a man, so what? I'm a glutton. <laughs> you fly up, Look at that. piling up your plate. Look at that plate. You want the rest of the last four tomatoes? Yeah, I'll take them. There we go. Put that one. You want some basil on top? No, I'm good. Okay. Two, one, oh, three. Keep it in the camera, because I want to see what you're doing. See? You know what? Yeah. You can use the container that the pasta dish is sitting on top of. All right, of. sweet. All right, Jeff. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Yep. Um, here's the finished product. I'll insert a fancy little photo at the end maybe, or it'll be on the thumbnail. I'm not sure. I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you make it, please do let me know. Yep, I'd like. love to hear your thoughts, or if you change anything up and it tasted just as good or even more amazing, please share with the rest of us. Yep, like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, please, and share. Yep. If this video helped you make an amazing meal tonight for dinner, and you please, by all means, share it with other people following this the Dr. Savy lifestyle that are looking for recipes. Yes. And we'll see you again next time. Peace.